Kipling called it the backbone of all Hind in his novel Kim. He was referring to none other than India's oldest, longest and most famous highway, the GT Road or the Grand Trunk Road. If you enjoy traveling, then there's no better way of doing it than in a car or on a motorcycle. Here's what the escape guide has to offer. We have one of the longest coastlines in the world. Stretching for over 5,000 kilometers, the coastal highway cuts through eight states. One of the advantages of having a car is that you don't need to plan your holiday in advance. No ticket reservation problems, no bookings, just go. India has over 40 national highways crisscrossing the country and hundreds of other highways to choose from. The secret is to get off the highway and explore. In the south, try the road from Mangalore to Goa. For a cross section of North India, try the GT road from Calcutta to Ampitsar. Try NH7 from Bangalore to Kanyakumari or NH5 from Vishakhapatnam to Bhubaneswar. If you choose to rough it out, then I suggest you opt for a four-wheel drive vehicle. Then all you have to do is flick in the gears, lock the wheels, and off you go. Who knows what you may discover? Get your vehicle serviced and check the following. Tires, check treads and air pressure. Engine oil and coolant levels. Brake oil levels. Get essential spares. Tools, especially for a puncher. Battery, properly charged. Good headlights and a map. Here's a word of advice. Start early. If you can see the sun rising on the horizon, that's a bonus. Never hesitate to stop, take in the place and talk to strangers. Great escape teams are always talking about chance conversations that lead them to places they never thought existed. Many of these places are off the main highway. Also, act as if you have all the time in the world. Because you do, you're on holiday. Leave racing about to rally drivers. So what are you waiting for? Call a friend or get your kids together and take an unplanned holiday just for the fun of it. Try it once and you'll be hooked.